Yo guys, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, I got something else special. I'm gonna be reviewing the new Dark Blade. Now, in some next videos, I'm gonna be reviewing Dark Blade V2 and V3, and trying to get the triple Yoru or triple Dark Blade. But right now, I'm just gonna review the very first one. So as you can see, I fully unlocked it because I'm at Mastery 50. So, lots of people say that Dark Blade is a pretty overpowered thing, but I'm gonna test that theory. So, first, I'm gonna go try it on some NPCs. So, my Sword Mastery is pretty low, but I've tried it on a few NPCs, and I think it's pretty good with the speed rate. But what I don't think is the. I don't think. What I don't like is that the first move on it isn't really the best, the 1000 slices. It's not really the best, but the Dark Air Slash is a very good move. I really like it. So the attack speed is pretty good here, and I think it's pretty awesome. It's almost like it's a fighting style, like the Dragon Breath. It's pretty close to that, actually. So I think it's pretty good for speed, and I think I fully understand why people think it's OP. Now, trying this on bosses, I don't know if this would be the most effective on bosses, because uh, I just tried it on Jeremy, and for Jeremy, it was kind of hard to actually get him low with it. So that, that it was a, kind of a loss, but it was very hard to get him low with the Triple Dark Blade. So I think getting him low with your fruit, or having a friend get him low for you, and then after that, hit, getting the last hit to get all the rewards, even if it's a boss, you still get it. But otherwise, I think it's really good and helpful. Now, for PvP, I PvP'd one other person in the server. So, first off, it's it's kind of hard to aim with a thousand slices because it's a really close-up attack. But otherwise, if you're on ground, not like a block, full block six battle, it's fairly easy to actually kill them, which is a very good thing. Because killing them is extremely easy now because of the attack speed and also the movement rate. Because I have Mink V2. So moving around is easy and pretty fast. And the Dark Air Slash. It's a pretty large hitbox. So it's also pretty great. Thousand, I don't really like the 1000 slices. It's not very helpful in my opinion. So I don't, I don't think that that's really worth it. But the Dark Air Slash is a really good move. See, as you can see, uh, I killed the guy right here. Uh, I kill him with a dark blade, but see this player died recently But I really think the dark blade is good. So as you know in future videos I'm gonna be making dark blade v2 and v3 and I'm gonna keep posting other things as you know race v4 Is coming out and I'm gonna react to that and post that But in my opinion, I think the dark blade is really good for PvP and NPCs, but for bosses. It's not the greatest so next video uh i'll probably see race v4 i'll check that out and then probably uh, dark blade v2 will be coming out soon so honest in my opinion i think dark blade is a great sword but i think it could be priced a little lower for how much i paid for this 1200 robux which is 12 bucks so i paid 12 dollars for this i don't know if that was fully worth it or not but for the PvPing skills and fighting NPCs, it's pretty great. Except the 1000 slashes, which I don't really like. But the speed is... This is basically a, a fighting style, in my opinion. In my opinion, this is a fighting style. Basically. It's, it's, really, it's really great. So I think that Dark Blade is a good sword. It's really good for NPCs. But in PvPing, but not very great for bosses due to like, the small hitbox uh, of just the M1 move, but the Dark Air Slash is good. I don't like the 1000 slices because of the low hitbox, and, and it's a close-up move, not a far away where you can aim. So, But I think in the end, Dark Blade is a really good sword, but I think it could be priced a little differently for how, how, how you get it. But I think otherwise, it's a really good sword. And not bad. So, in the, in conclusions, Dark Blade it's good for PvP and NPCs, but for doing bosses, 
it is definitely not the greatest but i don't know because my sword i don't know i'll have to test it out again later because my sword stat as you can see is very low compared to all my other things so i think i'm gonna slowly advance my sword and i'll see i'll make another video on after saying dark blade how how i has how it's been after a while but in the end i think dark blade it's a really great sword and i think i really understand why people think it's such a great sword it's good for grinding npcs and combat but just bosses but i think you can get bosses well with just your block through or combat style so i think the dark blade it's a really great sword well i'm pretty sure that's all for this video see ya and as always guys make sure to like and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Thank you.